Hey guys, Gilbert Gonzalez Jr. here, and I recently attended the No Hate campaign photo shoot in Anaheim, California. Before we get to that, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know how it started. In November of 2008, history was made. It was the very first time ever in our country's history that an amendment or a proposition passed that actually took away rights from people. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. It was called Prop 8. Prop 8 added to California's Constitution in Section 7.5 the Declaration of Rights stating that a marriage between a man and a woman should be the only thing, the only marriage, valid and legal and protected underneath the California law. Now in doing this, Prop 8 was directly opposing and overturning the California Supreme Court ruling in in re marriage cases, which had already said that marriage between uh, same-sex couples is a constitutional right. The wording in Prop 8 was also monumental in that within the title, the actual ballot title, it was quoted as saying, quote, eliminates rights of same-sex couples to marry. Now, being an American who is so grateful that our country was founded on equality and rights, this obviously was going to cause an uproar within the communities, gay and straight. The way that I feel about it is if you are a majority and you disagree with people who are differently, who are born different than you, because either they're black or white, have a different skin color, they were born gay or straight, or they, whatever the reason is, who anybody who's different than you. We, as a humanity, tend to keep going back to this, uh, this way of thinking that is primitive, that people who are different are less than us. And if you have the idea that, well, marriage, you know, I don't call that a marriage, uh, even if the government does, even if America does, even if the Bible does, or if the Bible doesn't. Well, we can get into that because I, would, I love to talk to people who try to base their Bible beliefs on one man, one woman, the way that we get married today, white dress, here comes the bride, uh, ring exchange, all of that, which is not biblical. And I can, I would love to talk to you guys about that, the marriages that happen in the Bible. As a studying pastor coming up in this world, uh, it's very interesting to me to, to how people claim scriptures that don't exist. Um, but that's a whole other topic. The thing that I really feel enraging is that the majority has decided to be proactive and go and bully the minority and literally say I'm going to take your rights away because I disagree with it even though I have the right to marry anybody that I love because you are different and I don't understand it and I'm, un I'm uneducated as to why you're different I'm going to now vote so that your rights can be taken away so I can be consistent in a belief that I really can't prove myself anyway. Hi guys, I'm here in Anaheim, California, and we're um, about to register and get our names put down and our little No Hate campaign tattoo on our cheek and then pose for the photos. So um, I want to talk to some people and find out why this is such an important cause for them. So I'm um, really excited and I'll check up with you guys later. Bye. Hello ladies. Hello. What are your names? Shannon. Shannon. Tom. And where are you both from? Anaheim. I'm here. From Anaheim. <laughs> so you're both getting your pictures taken today. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and tell me from both of your guys' points of view, why is this campaign so important? and why are you here today to support? Um, I think it's just about advocating for, you know, people who don't have voices. And I think the more we um, bring it out, you know, spreading words. Yeah. Say, like, I brought my cousin. So. I'm really supportive of her. I yeah, support the exactly. you know, gay rights. I mean, you know, I'm straight, but I have lots of friends that are gay, and I support equality for everybody. So. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Hello. Hi. What is your name? Melissa Don Taylor. And where are you from? LA. You're from LA. So, Melissa, why the photo shoot today? What, what is, why is it so important for you to uh, lend your support to this cause? What does it mean for you? Um, it's just, I support 
I'm such an eight and I just want to... <laughs> You're making me nervous. I'm sorry. I'm sweating and that should make you laugh. <laughs> I'm just here to support it. Yeah. Support the God. You believe in love and it's universal. Yeah. And everybody should have the same rights. Yes. That's very good. Okay, so you, you don't want to be the camera. Okay. Thank you very much, Melissa. Yeah. I will edit this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, actually, because I'm gay and my church is uh, preaches against homosexuality completely. They were actually for Prop 8. Um, Which church is this? Oasis Church in Hollywood on Wilshire. Um, they were actually very for Prop 8, so I'm trying to take a stand and uh, trying to convince some people at that church that homosexual homosexuality is not as bad as they tend to view it, and some of their interpretations of the Bible are necessarily um, the for a real right one. Um, is that the, so a lot of assumption there, and yeah, the teachings. There's a lot of assumption in their interpretation of the Bible. Um, you know. And uh, yeah, what else would you like me to say? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, I just, I saw you rocking out the Bible in your uh -huh. shoe and I was like, that is so dope. <laughs> and uh, I just, uh, yeah, thank you for coming and talking to me because I actually, I was thinking about it. I was like, I wish I could talk to him. I'm so glad you came back to talk to me. Awesome. We have to stay in contact. I love that you still love God and that you're going forward with God because cool. a lot of people give up or they go in total denial because they still want to have a relationship with God mm -hmm. but they go into denial about the fact that they're gay mm -hmm. and they never live openly and honestly and they don't have they're never free you know exactly. yeah actually I have uh, I had self-hate whenever I first started realizing and um, it was mainly because of my religion and my church um, and then I did my own research and I did my own Bible study yes and me too self taught here I am now uh, loving Jesus and loving who I am and it's hello hey. what is your name my name's PJ PJ nice to meet you and where are you from PJ Camarillo California oh cool beans okay so PJ tell me about why you're here to get your picture taken and you know about your and you're supporting for the campaign what does this no hate campaign mean to you I am just here because I have a lot of friends who have been exposed to a lot of bullying, a lot of negative influence about their homosexuality, I think it's stupid. And I'm just here to show my support for them. Awesome. Show the love. That's amazing. So you just believe in equality for everyone. Absolutely. And that love is the answer to everything. It is. And you have friends and do you have friends and family you said that are gay? Yes. Yeah. My and sister I, just got married. I have an awesome new sister in law. Awesome. Yeah. Cool thing. I love your support and your open and mindedness and yeah. your accepting. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much, PJ. <laughs> just a little bit about myself in the blog if you want to go on Gilbert Gonzalez Jr. Actually, uh, YouTube.com okay. forward slash Gilbert Gonzalez Jr. I feel that the gay community has been targeted and bullied and villainized by the church for a very long time. And I frankly think God's fed up with it because he loves his gay lesbian yes so I just I love seeing people like you I just want to encourage you and say thank you I appreciate what you're doing it's, and you're such an advocate for I mean you yourself you're not even gay you're it's for other people you love married, married 13 yeah. years two kids very I think that's but, amazing yeah. PJ and more people should follow your example thank you. you're welcome very nice to meet you, you too. awesome thank you hello sir hey how are you I'm good what is your name my name is Jonathan Jonathan and where are you from I'm originally from Alabama but now Oh, awesome. Okay. So, Jonathan, um, why are you getting your picture taken today, and what does the No Hate campaign mean to you? I'm a huge supporter of LGBT equality. I'm by myself, and um, I think that everyone should have equal rights. It means a lot to me to be out here and just standing up for what I believe in. Awesome. Have you ever faced any opposition before for being LGBT? 
I mean, yeah, people uh, people say yeah, things we're, we're or, you know, make negative forward. comments, we're especially being forward. from the southern part of the country. But, um, okay. you know, I, it doesn't really bother me anymore. You're able to get past it. Yeah, able to get past it. Awesome. Hello! Hi! How are you both doing today? Really good, thank you. Excellent. What are your names? Christina. Christina, where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. And Michelle. Michelle, where are you from? Also from Chicago I'll originally. Go. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and you both live here in uh, Orange County or? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so um, I just really want to get you guys' hearts on this. Um, why, why the campaign and, you know, what does this campaign mean to you? Why did you get your pictures taken? Thanks, Michelle. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, I just believe in believe in uh, what it's doing, and um, I think it's you know really good campaign, and um, I was just really excited about it. Uh, excited to be able to do this with my partner Michelle, and um, I don't know. What about you? I think that we're just here because we hope that one day it's it's not even a big deal to like be able to be married and to be together, and you know that we're no different than my brothers and my sister and anybody else who. You know, it's family or friends that have a life and are married and have children and, you know, it's no different. So we're just here to make a statement to say, you know, we're ready. Like, it's, it's silly it's silly that it's still even going on in our minds that it's even, you know, a debate at this point. Yeah. Um, I'm actually studying to be a pastor right now, and my aim is to really teach the misunderstandings of the church and the Bible and homosexuality and how God just loves his LGBT children. I just wanted to ask you, have you ever felt opposition from the, uh, the church or anything like that spiritually? Uh, definitely. I think that's part of why I've kind of moved away from the religion that I was brought up in and kind of moved to more of a, a Unitarian kind of Buddhist sort of mentality and just, you know, kind of moved away from any kind of organization, you know, that I belonged to when I was younger. Yeah, feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Well, I just want to both encourage you that I'm really, really excited that you guys did this today. People like you are who changed the world, and God loves you just as he made you. And if anybody tells you anything different, it's not of God. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.